Here in downtown Vancouver, where I'm standing, isn't just the intersection of Homer Street and West Georgia, but the meeting place of multiple architectural moments in the city's history. And the latest moment you've probably noticed in the skyline is the creation of artistic and abstract skyscrapers like this one. Well, it's definitely a moment, because architecture always is about the moment. Gordon Price has lived and worked in Vancouver for half a century, and he says the advancement of technology has made such bold designs possible. Buildings like the Sydney Opera House, they use technologies in ways that made buildings physically possible to do in ways that were really unimaginable in the past. In fact, on this intersection here, you can see four decades of different architecture. Over there, transforming itself from a post office in the 1950s, big, clunky, federal-style post office, home for Amazon now. Here, in the 90s, the city built in what's called the postmodern style, uh, the library, right over there, good old generic style office building, one from probably the 70s and the 80s. And here, ta-da, I guess it's the 2020s. And we're gonna see a lot of this because, thank you computers, and building technology, we can do stuff that, well, in some cases like Vancouver House, you can't even imagine how it stands up. Uh, and people love that stuff. In Vancouver's West End, there's the award-winning Cardero Tower with its V-shaped steel shades, providing privacy and protection from the sun. Or how about this huge Squamish First Nation residential development beginning construction this year by the Burrard Street Bridge? All visually engaging structures, but not strictly a Vancouver trend. It's not unique to Vancouver. You know, some might call this, I don't know, uh, Dubai on the Pacific. You know what Vancouver is really good at? It's not doing the completely new thing, being a leader. We really are good, though, at taking what's happening elsewhere and adapting it for our circumstances. I mean, is it a misnomer to say that the building of these luxury buildings in Vancouver is contributing to unaffordability? Or is there some truth to that? Uh, and the answer is yes, and it always has. The problem is if you're not building enough that's new by the time you get to the point where more people have arrived and you need more housing or office space, then you've induced scarcity, and it's scarcity that will drive up the price. As for this aesthetic moment in the city skyline, Price says there's no way of getting around dating yourself. Ultimately, we will look back on this, recognize it's of its time, put a heritage plaque on it, and we'll have moved on to something different. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.